It is. Tonight's very busy. we got a lot of cars going in, cars pulling over to the side like they should not to pick up passengers. But now the airport says some of this is due to fall break and families traveling. And with the holiday travel season coming up, there's some things you may want to take into consideration. Friday night at the airport. As some head out for a weekend trip, others, like Lori Story, are getting back into town. They just packed the people into the shuttle. She says when she came out here, parking in the airport's economy lot was a real challenge. They kept directing me farther and farther and farther, and pretty soon I was at the very last row. The signs into the airport showed arriving passengers that both the economy lot and parking garage are at capacity. If you can, I would use one of the off-site parking places and then shuttle yourself in. It'll be faster. We're really reaching capacity. Airport spokesperson Nancy Vollmer says travelers need to consider public transportation or ride sharing to get here for their trip. Is this an ominous sign for the holiday travel season? That's something we're keeping an eye on. But I do hope that with the new track station opening up, that we'll see more people taking that mode of transportation out to the airport. Today, we spotted Trax trains doing some test runs at the new stop right at the airport's door. Currently, passengers have to get on a shuttle to get to the airport track station. Volmer hopes a more convenient stop will convince more travelers to take the train. The key message here is for people to know to, to plan ahead. I'm definitely going to do that next time and not park here. Utah is still getting used to our new airport, and airport leaders are looking at ways to keep up with demand. If the demand stays high, is there any contingency plan to add more parking? It's something that we're continually looking at as our community continues to grow, and that means passengers are continuing to grow. Consider this, the new parking garage here at the new airport is twice the size of the parking garage at the old airport, and tonight it is right full. Now, that new track station is set to open in a few weeks, and that will shave a lot of time off a trip here to the airport on the train. Reporting live at Salt Lake City International, Jeremy Harris, 2 News.